Hi guys, I'm Paul. Um, welcome to my third episode um, for the digital sharing, you know, the digital, the, the online digital stuff that I've been sharing. And um, okay, um, today I'm going to share to you uh, about domain name. Domain name, which means that you know, the www.abc.com www. you know what are the names dot com dot <clears throat> sg dot my dot com dot my and all these things you know so <clears throat> uh, some of you might be wondering is there any different like things like um, a domain's name like dot com or dot com dot my or dot tw dot sg dot call dot hk you know is there any difference technically no there is no different at all on whatever name that you want or the dot com dot my dot com dot my we call it an extension you know so technically there is no different so then then why then why there's so many different types of extension that you have for your domain's name you know so <clears throat> um, as you can see uh a lot of websites that have, uh, for example, in Malaysia, we have .com, .my, uh, .my, we even have .gov, .my, .edu, .my. The .my is actually stand for, uh, a short form stand for Malaysia. So we call this kind of extension called uh, a country extension. So if it's for Singapore, it's .sg. Thailand is .th, Taiwan .tw, Hong Kong .hk, you know, Japan .jp, uh, Indonesia .in. You can actually Google that for different different countries and uh, different countries have their own extension. So, um, then why 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 do I need a, a country extension or a general extension like .com .info .net or uh, .net? info dot biz this kind of like a general a generic extension so for Malaysia I, I mean um, for every country if you get those uh, country extension domains name right it's basically is governed by those domains name is governed by um, the locus the, 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 the local like Malaysia dot uh, com dot my or dot my is actually governed by my name this belongs to a Malaysia companies that governs this domains name and you need to actually have uh, when you register this domain you need to have a registered company or your individual uh, IC or ID you know uh, details to submit to get uh, to register this dot uh, my or dot com dot my you know anything to do with the dot my domain's name you need to submit your own details whereas dot com those gener generic extension no you don't need to submit these details to them you know just uh, like <clears throat> uh, for like for China, China is dot cn, dot com dot cn, or even dot net dot cn. There has a few types. So every single uh, China's uh, uh, extensions domains is actually have to tie up with your ID. That's in case that that is actually uh, the legal way of you know if you use these domain names to do things like spam, you know, fraud or anything illegal so they can trace you it's actually pretty pretty strict for uh, country extension uh, domains name and that is the reason why the, the price is higher dot uh, com dot my or dot my the cost is about like seven 70 ringgit or up to 90 ringgit or even up to 100 it depends on different providers you know they provide different services and um, so yes it's because of a uh, unique uh, your details your ID or your company details to register this kind of domains name which mean that uh, having this domains name is like you have kind of uh, like a reputation you know that you tell someone that you know I'm dot my uh, I, ha I have a dot my uh, domains name which mean I'm, I'm doing things uh, seriously you know <clears throat> and it's legit okay so uh, just one quick tips uh, for everyone is uh, for in in Asia country right if you can't get it, it, it tend to 
a lot of uh, my clients yeah they wanted to have a dot com do domains because it's generic enough and you know it sounds like global and it's easy to type dot com even your mobile phone right when you type the the website it has that dot com short key there you know for dot com um is it if it's so popular which means that it, it, it hardly get the name that you want especially those generic name you know like wedding uh wedding planner dot com or you know uh wedding uh events uh, dot com you know those generic words you try to get it in dot com but usually uh you, you can't get it someone already purchased the domains so <clears throat> and you do not want to have a country extension like just having it in in malaysia only so what are the option you have now is actually you can get a dot asia extension all right so dot asia extension it seems like you know now people you know when you talk about dot asia i mean like you talk about asia then it sounds like you know it's, it's wider your services is wider you know not not just in like Malaysia or whatsoever you, you are covering the Malaysia I mean sorry you are covering the Asia part all right so uh, the cost of having dot Asia is is also very affordable it's less than 100 ringgit um, yep that, that's a tricks that, that's why you can see in, in the market now they have dot Asia websites uh, that, that that that's about the domains so domains is mainly on the branding strategy technically uh, there's nothing to do it works the same it doesn't mean that you have a dot com that it can reach us you can reach the other side of the world or whatsoever dot my you only can browse in malaysia no, that's it okay so um that's about it uh, today uh th this is my tips for everyone okay so before i end this video um i i have one lucky draw uh for every one of you who are watching my videos so um, I, I got a sponsors from uh, one of my associates um, they, they have a content marketing platform called one dot one dot dot my o n e d o t dot m y you can actually go to this website and you can actually um, <clears throat> search them in the Facebook one dot o n e d o t for Thailand they have thousands of fans in their page and pretty uh, much they, what they do is they're actually promoting you know their clients it's actually it's a content marketing platform that they write articles they write posts you know for their clients you know so um what what i'm doing here uh, i mean the lucky draw is about they they give me uh they sponsors me um one fb post for free that's worth three thousand ringgit you know yes it's worth three thousand ringgit they will write a fb post for you so i will choose one of the lucky draw winner okay for this video and what you need to do is very simple all right two step first like one dot facebook page all right search them O N E D O T. One dot Facebook page in Chinese called Eat Dian, Eat Dian. All right. So <clears throat> the second step is comment below. One dot. So I will pick one of the lucky winner. All right, and yes, you you will get a free postings for your business. Okay. I will announce uh, the winners uh, after two days after this video publish, all right? And uh, so, do share with your friends who who are interested on getting this uh, lucky draws prize because it's worth it. Everyone is trying um, uh, to be cost effective, you know, on how to do marketing through online, you know. So, um, yeah, that's it for this video and uh, stay tuned for my next episode because um, 
upcoming I will even have more uh, not just about content sharing that you know I will provide to everyone but I will have some sponsors coming in the free gift that I can share with you or even promotion or whatsoever okay so stay tuned for my next episode guys alright